Hey, it's Steve Eimers. I am trying out a new GoPro. And what I wanted to do was, I'm shooting at a location I was once able to get just recently these uh, new SKT, MSKT 350 heads installed at the front and leading and trailing edge of this system. I've also got a large section of this rail replaced because there were issues with the installations, primarily bolts missing. So what I've been doing, I found that I myself, along with most of the people in DOTs within the industry, were all focused on the first 50 feet within the guardrail. And the reason that is, is because I, there's an old bank robber when he was asked, why do you rob banks? I said, that's where the money is. And I think for me personally, of course, I focus at the beginning of the rail because that's where my daughter was killed. But I think the industry at a, as a whole focuses at the beginning of the rail because that's where the money is. The problem is that people are dying when they hit guardrail, not just here at the beginning, but all the way down. And what I'm finding is that the middle portions of guardrail are largely ignored. I've seen over and over where we have uh, work that's been done, sometimes by a culvert contractor or a utilities contractor, anyone that isn't used to working on guardrail it, it was necessary for them to remove a section of the guardrail they didn't get it reinstalled properly but sometimes it's just somebody making a repair and they don't know what they're doing you have to make that scene properly you can't add washers where they don't belong you can't use hardware that doesn't belong and every single bolt that has to be connected must be connected. So I have seen unbolted rail on the Cherahala Skyway where you might have a several hundred foot drop off. I've seen unbolted rail right here where the consequences would be rupture into a very deep culvert and likely death. I've seen it in Washington, D.C. I've seen it in Maryland. Uh, there was a deadly elephant trap up in Virginia. I just inspected over and over. I am seeing this issue where rail is left unbolted. And at that point, all we have is window dressing. So what I really want to do is, just by sharing this video, one, test out my GoPro. But two, I want to get DOT workers to open their eyes and see, watch, look out for the connections all along the post. You're not going to be able to do this completely by drive-bys, but what I can tell you is when they aren't connected, you will see just a little gap. It's a little gap, but if you're looking, you'll see it. And as you see it once, you'll see it again. And as you start seeing it regularly, you'll be able to drive by at 60 miles an hour and say, that's not bolted. And uh, if you're riding with your family, like I often do, they're gonna say, well, you're a joy to have on a trip. But develop your skills and get those fixed because at some point, guardrail is like a watchman. It's a watchman on the wall waiting and waiting for a single point in time, for a single impact. And when that impact comes, it's gotta be able to perform. For years, sometimes decades, it will sit there and it's just sitting there for that one moment in time. If it's not bolted, it will not perform properly and somebody may die. One bolt can kill you.